Is there anything he could do that would disqualify him from your vote? No, nothing, nothing. You know, he could move to Africa and he'd still be my, my president. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die like Johnny Cash said? Yes, I would. Yeah, I still would, yes. Is there anything he could do to lose your vote? <sighs> I really don't think so. I think he would have to turn against God in order for me to, to not vote for President Trump. So I guess I cannot say that I'm surprised that when you interview people at a Trump rally, they're going to be hyper supportive of Donald Trump. But let's let's just admit for a second that this is slightly over the top, even for rally goers. I, I've been to rallies of candidates that I support. I've been to, you know, multiple Bernie Sanders rallies, and I would never talk about him in the way that they do. So you have a mix of two different types of Trump supporters there. So you have those who, like, despite... Uh, Michael Schur's attempts, they could not come up with anything that would cause them to not support Donald Trump. And then you have the people who, I guess, are exercising more critical thought, and they'll say, well, if he turned against God. And I, and I want to address both of those groups, because I think they're both interesting for, for different reasons. So the there's nothing he could do to lose my support. I'm going to say, and this is me extending, I guess, like an olive branch to them, that I don't think that that's true. For almost anyone, even the most ardent Trump supporters, there has obviously got to be something that would cross a line for them. Um, because we've seen this, I think, for other incredibly popular politicians in the past. I mean, look, there are people who are certainly willing to be critical of Bernie Sanders. There are people who loved AOC but still can criticize her. I mean, these individuals, I think, want to project to, to Michael or to whoever's going to be seeing this video... He's the best I support him, but they've got still got to be thinking humans. And so, you know, if if Donald Trump were to be on video saying that he supports trans athletes, like that's got to be enough to, to turn against him, right? And then I then I remind myself that of course they would they would worry that it was a deep state plot, it was a deep fake or something like that. So uh, I don't know. Look, maybe something more substantive, maybe. You know, were he to do some sort of massive, like, government program that allows for increased legal or, you know, illegal immigration or something like that, undocumented immigration, maybe that would be enough for some of these people. They certainly center immigration in their politics. I don't know. It is an interesting question to try to answer what would be that line, because you can go through quite a, quite a few of these issues and... Hypothetically, he's already crossed those lines. So, you know, for many of these people, particularly the religious ones, that line could well be support for abortion. But we know that in an earlier phase of his career, he was very supportive of abortion rights. Uh, there's every reason to believe that. He has said things that are supportive of the LGBTQ community, including trans individuals. Now, I don't think that he actually believes much of that, but he has said it. And that being out there doesn't seem to have hurt him. Now, like, the religious people, I think, are a great subset of this, and that's why I wanted to focus on them. You saw them in the second part of that video. You know, they've said if he turned against God. So that is said as if it is a specific standard. You turn against God. Now, I would ask the follow question, so what counts as turning against God? I mean, you know, he's had multiple marriages. There's very good reason to believe that he has cheated on his wives. He has been accused by dozens of women of sexual assault, sexual harassment. All of these things, I believe, are indications of turning against at least the idea of God that conservative Christians say that they hold. Um, and yet that has not, that, that line has not been crossed from their point of view. So... Look, I, I'm I'm trying to draw from this what we can. That we have these people that are not representative of much. They're not even really representative of Trump supporters. They are the most ardent, committed supporters, and yet there there has got to be something because I, I like I don't think there are many people who have been more supportive of Bernie Sanders than me. But if Bernie Sanders suddenly denied the existence of climate change, I would not support him anymore. Like. If he said that, you know, I don't believe that people should have reproductive autonomy, I would not support him. And and that seems like the only reasonable approach to have because your support of them should be driven by their similarity on values and their support of the same policies. Other than that, I don't know why you would support a politician. They're not your friend. They're not, a, you know, a musician you support. That's what politics is about, your values and policies. So, look, I'm going to continue to try to extend that mental olive branch to them to say that this is performative 
and nobody could hold the positions they say they do, but it does seem to be true of millions of Americans. So that's a little depressing. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.